Are your kids wanting an electric scooter this year? Unlike traditional kids' kick scooters, electric scooters for kids are powered using a chain drive motor. These scooters can range in speed from 5 miles an hour for your little one and up to a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour for the more advanced older kids. It ultimately depends on the size of the motor and the motor scooter's weight limit, as well as the size and weight of your kid. Typically though, electric scooters average around 10 to 15 miles per hour at top speed. With so many electric scooter brands and models out there, it can be difficult to decide which is the best electric scooter for your kid. You may not know where to start looking. That's why I'm here. Together, we'll navigate the world of electric scooters so that you can find the best option for your child. So what's the best electric scooter for your boy or girl? We tested 10 different kids' electric scooters from all the major scooter brands. After months of testing, we determined some electric scooters are definitely better than others. From wheel size and material to throttle type and spring shock dampening. Watch this video to discover what's great about each of our favorites. Number 1. Segway 9Bot Max The speed, power, longevity, and trustworthiness of Segway's self-balancing offering combine in a classic kick scooter design that packs serious oomph with the Segway 9Bot Max. Long-range travels are no issue at all thanks to an impressive 40 miles of travel per charge, which is backed by the device's proprietary smart battery management system. The tech regulates battery drain to allow for a long-lasting charge. Speeds of 18.6 miles per hour will get them where they need to go in a snap. And unlike many competitors, it's IPX5 water-resistant, so it's safe for them to ride in a light drizzle. Built in front, rear, and brake LED lights offer illumination, making their ride a bit safer, especially at dusk when visibility declines. Despite the impressive longevity of this scooter's battery charge, juicing up only takes about 6 hours, compared to some competitors which can take 8 minutes 12 hours or even an entire day to charge. It also features tubeless pneumatic self-healing tires, meaning that they're able to withstand multiple small punctures without deflating in order to preserve tire life even with frequent use. The potential 40 miles of travel time allowed per charge make this the best long-range scooter on our list. Number 2. Razer E100 Glow The Razer E100 Glow scooter can't be bested in terms of coolness. The board is lined with blue LED lights that flash every time the handlebar throttle is twisted, adding a bit of extra pizzazz to their fun. It has a retractable kickstand for easy on-off access, and the scooter can support up to 200 pounds. The battery takes about 12 hours to charge, and there is minimal assembly required. The flashy scooter can travel at maximum speeds of up to 10 mph, and can be used for up to 40 minutes of continuous play. Pneumatic tires give it an edge at tackling rough terrain, though riders should still be cautious on rocky surfaces and slopes. Bright blue LED lights that trigger with a twist of the handlebar throttle. The high weight limit of 200 pounds means they can keep enjoying it as they grow. A retractable kickstand helps keep their scooter in place when they're not riding. Number 3. GoTrax GKS While the 9Bots boast a ton of features, the GoTrax GKS sticks to the basics to keep the price tag down. The GKS has two main things going for it. First, its slower max speed of just 7.5 miles per hour allows younger kids to safely ride an electric scooter. And while most other electric scooters end up going really fast down steeper hills, we found that the GKS maintained a relatively slow speed on the downhill. This is a huge safety win for young riders. Second, this little kid's electric scooter has a unique foot engaged. Kick to start throttle which is another safety benefit for young kids. To get the GoTrax GKS started, a child places their foot on the front deck button and kicks off the ground to get the scooter moving. Once the scooter is moving 1.8 miles per hour, the child places their rear foot on the rear button to manage the motor and accelerate to 7.5 miles per hour. To slow down, the child can raise their rear foot which stops the motor and also engage the rear fender brake. Keep in mind that this scooter was one of the bumpier rides of the bunch, so that lower price tag does come at a cost. Selecting the best item from a group of choices is a difficult job. You can easily purchase these products and say bye to all your worries. If you need more information and if you know product price do check out my description. For any kind of problem please, comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life much easier.